James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today's December 14th, 2022, 11.30 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We are having a barrage of M flares, as many as I can remember ever seeing. We have intensifying solar flare activity, according to NOAA. This is all coming from New Sunspot AR3165. It's crackling with M-class solar flares. The strongest so far, an M6-class explosion at 1442 UTC time, which caused an extensive shortwave radio blackout over the Atlantic Ocean. If this trend continues, the sunspot could produce an X-flare by the end of the day. Now, since the 6th, we've had another M-flare. As you can see here, this is the M6.39 or 6.4 flare. Since that time period, we've had an additional M-flare. Not as strong. It looks like an M2.23. And this was basically, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six seven m flares so far within the last 12 to 14 hours unbelievable and the culprit has been identified as this sunspot right here it looks like it just flared again heavily it's from ghost solar ultraviolet imager 195 angstroms go 16 that is sunspot ar 3165 and it is crackling with M flares. Again, they said that there very well could be an X flare by day's end. These explosions will all be earth directed or at the least have an earth component. Not to mention that we have two coronal holes swinging around to be earth facing currently and about nine sunspots on our disk. This could get very dangerous very quickly. 3165 is nowhere near as complex as 3167, 3160, 3162, 3163, etc. Currently, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 named sunspots. Should be 11 named sunspots on our solar disk Earth facing unbelievable over Alaska C3 these are the explosions coming out one after another folks and they are very strong explosions we're only getting to see one have obviously cut away a lot of the time here again we've seen six or seven explosions unbelievable now, this is not the one two punch that we always talked about. This is the one, two, three, four, five plus punch that we've never talked about. Look at December 16th. They have all KP1s coming in. That's going to change at some point today. And it's going to change drastically. All right, hand over to our D Region Absorption Prediction Center. That was our first flare we had late last night or second flare followed by several more there's a, a six coming very very strong here and that was not it but this will be wow complete radio alternation you can just hit it right wow all the way guys one of the biggest m flares that we've had in some time we've wow another one this is crazy that was over south america again i want to look back at the m flares i don't remember anything like this ever occurring the first flare clears the atmosphere for the second flare but then what about the third fourth fifth and sixth flare 48 hours from now, we're going to be in a heap of trouble. Right now, we have very slow solar winds, and plasma is not substantial. As you can see, we have less activity on our sun than I think we've 
ever had her in some time. We have plasma hanging out at around three or four centimeters cubed, actually going down to about two centimeters cubed, although it did perhaps crack tin right there for a split second. What an anomaly. No crossovers whatsoever. No space weather events. Started out at about 410. We've ended up at about 330. Temperatures are very low as well. This is a walk in the park day, but what is inbound? A nightmare. It appears as if this has knocked out our STO satellite. That's right, knocked it out. And here they go again, making this heavy plasma prediction for the 21st. at seven days from now. How would any of this generate this plasma that would be hitting on the 21st? Watch the time clock up here. It's a complete nightmare to watch them play this out. Seven days from now. That would be an impossible prediction. Nothing would ever move that slow. You can see the plasma in it right here. See here. 21. I mean, wow. Unbelievably ridiculous. They haven't actually even put together any of the M flares. This is NASA's ISWA spiral. Nothing has been modeled whatsoever. They better get up and get to work. This is a serious situation. I'm guessing that everyone is heading for the bunkers. SDO is definitely down. I don't know if this is because they don't want you to see what's going on or if because the M6 flare, one of the other M flares, knocked the satellite out of communications. I can't fully understand why this very non-complex sunspot is flaring like it is. I'm worried about the other ones coming around and if there's something causing this off to the IE right of our sun. When those other more complex sunspots do turn just a bit more around our disk, are they going to start flaring like this or even harder as well? Again, one, two, three, four, five, arguably six, seven M flares thus far just today. Again, I have never seen one sunspot produce seven M flares in a day. As long as I've been watching this, which is about 14 years. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in this bizarro world.